Ever looked at your credit report and wondered, how did this get here? Or maybe you are in the middle of a serious financial situation and need to dispute an error ASAP. And let's face it, dealing with credit bureaus can feel like trying to solve a Rubik's Cube blindfolded. Today, we're cutting through the confusion and giving you the lowdown on how to actually reach TransUnion by phone. Because let's be real, sometimes, a good old-fashioned phone call is the quickest way to get things sorted. Now, I know what you're thinking. Why bother calling when you can do everything online? Well, while TransUnion does have an online portal, there are times when picking up the phone is your best bet. Maybe you're dealing with a complex issue that requires a human touch, or perhaps you just prefer to talk to a real person. Whatever your reason, we've got you covered. Let's start with the basics. The main TransUnion customer service number is 1-800-916-8800. But hold on, before you dial, let's talk about what you can expect. You're likely to encounter an automated system. Don't panic. These systems can be frustrating, but they're often the quickest way to get to the right department. Here's a general guide on how to navigate the automated system. Listen carefully to the options. TransUnion's automated system will present you with a series of options. Pay close attention to what each option covers. Press the right numbers. Use the keypad to select the option that best matches your needs. This could be anything from disputing an error to placing a credit freeze. Be patient. Automated systems can be slow and frustrating. Take a deep breath and try to stay calm. If you manage to bypass the automated system and actually speak to a human, consider yourself lucky. But don't get too comfortable. You'll likely have to verify your identity. Be prepared to provide your social security number, date of birth, and other personal information. Now, let's talk about some specific situations. If you're trying to dispute an error on your credit report, you'll want to be as detailed as possible. Gather all the necessary documentation before you call. This includes copies of bills, receipts, or any other evidence that supports your claim. If you're placing a credit freeze, you'll need to provide your social security number, date of birth, and the last four digits of your social security number. You'll also need to know the personal identification number, PIN, that you created when you initiated the freeze. And what about removing a credit freeze? Well, you'll follow a similar process as placing one, but you'll need to provide a specific reason for lifting the freeze. But wait, there's more. TransUnion offers different departments for specific needs. For example, if you're a business owner, you'll need to contact their business services department. If you're concerned about identity theft, there's a dedicated fraud department. To find the right number for your specific needs, it's always a good idea to check TransUnion's website. They often have a contact page that lists different departments and their corresponding phone numbers. Now, let's talk about call times. Like most customer service departments, TransUnion's busiest times are likely to be mornings and early afternoons. If you can, try calling later in the day or on a weekday. And remember, patience is key. You might be on hold for a while. Consider using hold music or a podcast to pass the time. One last tip, keep a pen and paper handy. You'll likely need to jot down account numbers, reference numbers, or other important information. So there you have it. A comprehensive guide to reaching TransUnion by phone. Remember, while dealing with credit bureaus can be stressful, it's important to stay calm and collected. With a little preparation and patience, you can navigate the system and get the help you need. With that said, thanks for watching and until next time.